we're going to roll on to some other interesting news. So we're in the telecom space um, and the competition that's happening there between AWS and Microsoft and Google and what some are perceiving as maybe an early land grab. So talk with us a little bit about that. Yeah, a great segue, Shelley. And I, I agree. I think we uh, need uh, to look at the cloud uh, competition. Right. And we've certainly have spent uh, a great deal uh, talking about, you know, the operators that, you know, is inherent. And so, yeah, it's, it's a good time now, I think, to take a snapshot. And I want to start by saying, yes, it's still early in the market. <laughs> it uh, is. So, so, yeah, this is a horse race that uh, can't be called. I don't know if it's ever going to be called because I think my second key point before getting to more details is that I think uh, the vast majority of operators, certainly the major ones, are going to be committed to a multi-cloud play. Absolutely. So, yeah. So while AWS will get some early announcements and certainly Azure will get early announcements and so forth, uh, this is something that isn't uh, going to, you know, wall uh, garden, you know, what the operators want strategically. And for example, our collaborative research with Ericsson pretty, pretty much verified that common sense notion that right. the operators don't want to be uh, hamstrung by being over reliant on one cloud player. So, right. with that said, uh, I think we can still point to you know uh, what is going on, and uh, we, there's been some recent research, uh, some of it coming from Andia, for example, that indicates that AWS does have the most partnerships in place that we can talk about. Uh, they accounted about 70. Azure is coming in at 57. But what I think is interesting is that third, it was Oracle. Oracle. So, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, so, that's uh, that, impressive. Uh, yes, it, it is. And I think that's a tribute to, you know, just how much uh, they've strategically committed in building out Oracle Cloud and making it not just for, you know, cloud database applications, but for a vast uh, array uh, verticals and so forth. And here we are, you know, talking about the fact that they have a major play in the telco space. Right. And not surprisingly, uh, Google Cloud comes in next, but they are gaining momentum. They are generating, I think, the most uh, new headlines, at least in the first half yeah. of this year. Yeah. So, uh, well, and IBM, IBM is showing up on that list too. And, exactly. you know, I mean, I, they yeah. have, you know, a small amount of market share compared to these other players that we've mentioned, but I think that's impressive as well. And, you know, uh, IBM definitely has a focus in the 5G space. And so seeing them end up on this list, um, you know, I, and I do have to back up and say, since we're, you know, we're in the research business, this, um, this, study from Omdia was really, you know, 49 executives asking them, you know, what public clouds they were using for, um, or public cloud or clouds they're using for their network functions. So it's not, you know, as you said, when we started, this is early stages. Mm -hmm. This is a super small, <laughs> this is a super small group, but I think these results are impressive nonetheless. Yeah, I think it definitely validates uh, IBM's acquisition of Red Hat in yep, this uh, absolutely. area. Absolutely. And uh, one thing I think is also worth noting is who wasn't really directly mentioned, although there was an others category, others, that's yeah. uh, Alibaba, which theoretically would have had a higher number had it not been for geopolitical realities uh, setting absolutely. up. Absolutely. And you know they are still uh, certainly out there working uh, strategically with uh, operators such as Saudi Telecom. Um, so, you know, this is something that uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on, but, you know, Saudi Telecom is going to work with, you know, other cloud players. So, again, it's, it's not a zero sum uh, competition, but I think one that I think we will uh, pay more attention to is Azure, uh, particularly Azure for operators, because they're the one cloud player so far that's invested directly into telco specific assets, specifically right. the acquisitions of Affirms and the acquisitions of Metaswitch. I think uh, this will help them in terms of supporting SDN capabilities that the operators will require, as well as CNF and VNF capabilities, as well as ultimately container uh, builds as right. the operators become more familiar and sophisticated about how to really leverage the cloud optimally to meet their strategic uh, ends. And they're the one uh, cloud player that's had a high profile announcement with AT&T, where AT&T has said, we are working with uh, Azure to strategically have our core assets supported on the Azure cloud. 
Now, Verizon, for example, said, we're never going to do that. And many other operators are pretty much pointing to that same thing. But mm -hmm. who knows? I mean, nobody thought AT&T would come out with this type of announcement. Right. And we know that AT&T personnel have onboarded onto Azure to you know, make this strategic decision uh, work. Right. And so uh, stay tuned. It's just fascinating yeah. that you know, these um, developments have already happened. And, you know, the tunes can change quickly <laughs> if, yeah. if, you know, say AT&T, you know, uh, definitely makes uh, vast inroads uh, with its Azure uh, partnership, et cetera. Yeah, it'll be real. That will be really interesting to watch for sure. No doubt. And yeah. and I think uh, it, it points to the fact that uh, the operators need to uh, invest in, you know, again, uh, uh, cloud native capabilities, certainly CNFs. And also, uh, you know, Google, I think, actually has a very uh, compelling SDN proposition. That's why yeah. I think they'll uh, rise in these counts, uh, you know, in a short order. So, you know, uh, this is something that's going to be, uh, I think, uh, good news for everybody, really. It's yeah. a rising tide. And, and so both the operators in the cloud operators will figure out ways to you know, quite simply please the customers to make 5G yeah. even more mainstream, more agile. Uh, more use case savvy and so forth. Yeah, exciting times ahead for sure.